It's free to spend an afternoon window shopping inside the Prudential Center, but don't miss these windows outside. We're co-creating bold public art experiences that open conversations, spaces, and minds, hopefully. Kate Gilbert is executive director of the nonprofit arts organization Now and There, which organized this mural with sponsor Boston Properties. We have amazing art centers and museums, but sometimes there's a barrier there. You might have to buy a ticket or it might be hard to get to. Our goal is to build a public art city. Muralist Yeni Hernandez is the creative engine behind this work titled Ponle Vuelo a Tus Sueños, or Let Your Dreams Take Flight. The name of the project actually comes from a line from a poem that my mother wrote me when I was a child. Her Puerto Rican roots are on full display in everything from the colorful flowers she selected to this silver coffee maker. Across all of Latin America, you will always see one in a kitchen. Inside, the art incorporates words of inspiration. I wanted to create this experience where as you're walking up the stairs, you're being cheered on until you get to the very top. Kind of how I want to cheer you on to achieve your dreams. Exploring free public art can be a full day expedition. We like to think of them as a scavenger hunt through all of Boston's neighborhoods. Residents of East Boston can find their own free public art in Low Presty Park, and it's out of this world. I think it's a UFO slash shell. It's been really interesting to watch people asking, what is this thing? <laughs> the piece titled Beam Me Down is the first public work from artist Eli Brown, thanks to a grant from Now and There's Accelerator Program. So it's giving us $25,000 to create a project. This piece is not only big in size, but also in meaning for those with an eye for details. In each of the porthole windows is a different tidal animal. These creatures have survived for millions of years by being adaptable, some of them even gender fluid. It's affirming for me as a trans person myself just to know that there, you know, these phenomenons of queerness and transness show up in the natural world. Many visitors may never dive into its deeper meaning, but that isn't a problem for Brown. This one kid was like, that's fire. And it meant everything to me, you know, because it was like, whoa, OK, I've done it. <laughs> I've done it. To see this art display, you may have to look down. You can't see these if you're just walking around looking in plain view. You really have to seek them out. Annie Healy is marketing manager for the street Chestnut Hill, and she's talking about these mouse-sized shops and tree houses built by the artistic underground group Anonymous. Anonymous has actually been making these storybook inspired art installations in Europe for about 16 years. The displays are scattered across various WS development properties in greater Boston and are the first by Anonymous in the US. No one knows where they're located except for our teams and so the whole point is to walk around and be a little bit delighted when you finally find one. When you do find one, like this bookstore and firehouse, be sure to get low and take a peek inside. You see that the credit cards that they take, it's Chisa, it's not Visa. They have Of Mice and Men in their storefront. It's all just this huge attention to detail that makes these so much more special than you would ever expect by just walking by. You can look, but don't touch, and please don't feed the mice. No crackers or crumbs found yet, but maybe the mice are eating them. <laughs> so cute. Back to that exhibit at the Pru. Yenny Hernandez's exhibit came down in October, but now and then sponsors exhibits all over the city. We'll have a link to information on our website.